I'm Eddie Kalegi, and I'll be bringing you flag-to-flag -flag coverage of the 2017 STP 500 at Martinsville. First, let's go to the Nabisco pre-race show with Kirk Landry and Trent McGinnis. WUB Network, America's sports leader, presents the NASCAR Progressive Cup Series. I'm Kirk Landry along with Trip McGinnis. We are here for the Nabisco pre-race show. We're at Martinsville Speedway for the STP 500. Trip, are you excited? Yeah, this is going to be a good race today. First short track of the season. Boy, am I excited. Well, we had some action last night, actually, in the Truck Series race. There was some excitement, a lot of crashes, and it came down to the wire in the last couple laps. So, there were only five cars still running for the restart with two laps to go. Matt Crafton had the advantage along with Johnny Sauter, but things got very disorganized on the final lap as youngster Christopher Bell took out Matt Crafton collecting Jordan Anderson. Johnny Sauter got through to win the race. So now it's time for our Sunday selections. Trip, who you got? Well... I like Jimmy Johnson. He just runs so good here. I really think Jimmy's going to take it home today. Well, I got Kyle Busch. He's also very good when it comes to short tracks. I think he'll get his first Martinsville victory. Let's send it to Eddie Kalegi in the booth. Welcome to Martinsville Speedway. It is time for the 2017 STP 500 right here on WUB Network, America's sports leader. 39 drivers ready to battle. Let's see your drivers to watch for. We begin with your pole sitter today, that is Austin Dillon, he starts P1, and Kyle Busch starts on his outside, and Chase Elliott honors Jeff Gordon's legacy with a Jeff Gordon tribute paint scheme, Matt Kenseth is DNF twice this year, Jimmy Johnson won last week, and Matt Benedetto starts 15th, his best career start. Now the command. The most famous words in motorsports, please welcome living legend, Richard Petty! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, start your engines. Last week it was Dale Inman, now it's Richard Petty, another living legend giving the command. So the cards begin to roll off, we'll look at your starting lineups. Starting on row one today is Austin Dillon and on his outside Kyle Busch. Row two, Jamie Rockwell and Clint Boyer in the 14. Row three, Chase Elliott and his teammate Dale Jr., then Hamlin and Harvick. Yeah, row five, we got Daniel Suarez, the rookie, and Joe Lowe. Then we got Kurt Busch and Kyle Larson. Then row seven, Matt Kenseth and Jimmy Johnson. Row eight, Matt DiBenedetto, Trevor Bain. Row nine, The Dinger and BK. Then row 10, Martin Truex Jr., Ricky Stenhouse. Row 11, Ryan Blaney, Ryan Newman. Row 12, Eric Alamarola, David Reagan. Row 13, Casey Kane, Chris Boucher. Row 14, Danica and Ty Dillon. Row 15, Eric Jones, bad qualifying for him and Paul Menard. Then South and McDowell. Then row 17, Landon Castle and Jamie McMurray. Bad run for him. Then Mears, Earnhardt, Greg Alding, DJ Kennington. And rounding out the field, Joey Gase. Your DNQs, Chase Montgomery and Ryan Ellis. And now it is time to take a look at our race facts. 25 laps, pit window, 16 to 18 laps. Stay on the bottom, watch for fender benders. Here is the pit reports. Well, guys, Austin Dillon starts on the pole today. We'll see if he can take the three car to victory. Ed? Jimmy Johnson is amazing when it comes to Martinsville. Starting 14th, we'll see if last week's winner continues his Martinsville mastery. Back to the booth. Our weather forecast, air temp 71 degrees, track temp 102 degrees. Last week it was the rain-shortened race. No chance of rain today. Trip, are you ready? Yes, it's a beautiful day. Here we go. Hold them, flagman. Hold them. Great flag. Let's go. Let's roll. Austin Dillon, Kyle Bush lead them down into turns one and two. Very slow through the corners, then fly up down the back stretch. Jamie Rockwell into third. Austin Dillon takes advantage through three and four. Austin Dillon leads lap one here at Martinsville on board with Chase Elliott. He's trying to make some moves. He's up to fourth, passing Clint Boyer. Now he's going to get third from Rockwell. Oh, Chase is into Kyle Busch. Kyle is up in the wall. We got a problem. Kyle Busch cuts a tire and collects Kevin Harvick. Caution is out. Let's see a replay. Yeah, Chase Elliott looks like he got into Kyle Busch. Cut down that tire just a matter of seconds later. Down it goes. Wow, Jimmy Johnson just narrowly escapes. Kevin Harvick nowhere to go. Innocent bystander there. So Harvick's done for the day. It looks like Kyle Busch is going to get some repairs. He's damaged, but a lap down. Casey Mears will be the Bass Pro Shop's lucky fish. And 
Now it's time for your shout-out competition. See Jonathan Mick, NASCAR Pennzoil Cup Series, the Motorsports Guy, and NASCAR Jonathan all got shout-outs for today's race. We'll have another sweepstakes competition coming at Las Vegas. Thanks for participating. We are ready to restart here on lap 7. Here we go. Dylan and Elliot lead them down. Dylan gets a bad jump. Elliot gets a great one on the outside. He'll take advantage. Dylan and Rockwell make up the top three. Yeah, it's getting very good out there. Denny Hamlin makes a shift to the inside. We got an update for Meg. Kevin, what happened out there? Well, I don't know. Chase Elliot, he played some bone hit moves, got into the 18. A very frustrating for all our fans here for this Budweiser Chevrolet. Hopefully next time we'll come out here strong. It's just very frustrating. Hopefully Clint or Kurt can bring it home for Stuart House Racing. All right, thanks, Kevin. Back upstairs. Thanks, Ed. So Chase Elliott continues to lead, then Hamlin and Dylan. Elliott now making passes by lapped cars. A lot of lap traffic for these drivers to deal with early. Elliott, Hamlin, and Dylan now in third. Austin Dillon starting to slip back a little. This looks like Jamie Rockwell has fallen all the way to seventh. Kirk, you got an update? Yes, I do. Jamie Rockwell's been complaining to crew chief Chris Stapleton that there is an issue. We'll see if they can fix it up. Leading right now is Chase Elliott. Dale Earnhardt Jr. has found his way to third class. Austin Dillon as Elliott continues to lead Hamlin to second. Ryan Blaney coming down pit road. We got trouble. Hard in the wall is Austin Dillon. Caution is out. Oh my goodness. We got to see a replay of that. Was McDowell trying to come down pit road? I think so. Dinger got into him and Dillon hard in the outside wall. Boyer with nowhere to go either. Now our Nike Super Zoom. Hey, you can see with the arrow, there's the contact. Dinger into McDowell. Dylan just gets clipped. Johnson just escapes again. So Almond Dinger getting some fast repairs. Clint Boyer, he's going to the garage. McDowell is done for the day, as is Austin Dillon. So we'll be back for the restart. Next week, the NASCAR Progressive Cup Series heads to Tiburon Raceway for the Tostitos Tiburon 500. Last year's winner, Denny Hamlin, goes to battle at the Jewel of the South, right here on WUB Network. We are back, and now it's time to look at our pit stop recap here on lap 14. Winning the race off pit road, it was Chase Elliott, followed by Hamlin, Earnhardt Jr., Johnson, and Logano. Most drivers took four tires. There was a couple of exceptions. Al Marola in eighth. Got two. Ryan Blaney is back on the lead lap after pitting before the caution. Danica is the Bass Pro Shop's lucky fish. We're back racing. Chase Elliott with a nice restart on the inside. You see Jamie Rockwell ducking out three wide. I always get nervous with these cars going three wide in the corner. It's getting very exciting. Chase Elliott with the advantage. Followed by Dale Earnhardt Jr. Denny Hamlin. Then Elliott looking good out there. Dale Earnhardt Jr. on board trying to catch Chase. Yeah, he's got a nice run. I don't know. Well, one guy who was very upset after that last wreck was Austin Dillon. We have an update from Ed. Well, guys, I'm here with Austin Dillon, who was wiped out of that lap 11 accident. Austin, what happened? Well, I was running fifth. I was going to have to pick soon, and there were some other guys doing that. It looked like the 95 and McDowell was going to do that as well. He and the 47 made some contact, and when he came down, he flipped me in the right rear wheel, right over the outside wall. Frustrating for Richard Childress racing. We had a good car all weekend. Thanks, Austin. Let's go back to Eddie and Trip. Thanks a lot, Ed. A lot of guys have been upset about the wrecks today. We have a caution. Greg Alding just blew up on the front stretch, it looks like. So that's going to be the end of the day for Greg Alding in the 30 Lean 1 Toyota. Galding, Kyle Busch has also gone to the garage. Too much damage. So now we are going to restart with three laps to go. Elliott and Hamlin will be up front as Galding is done. Joey Gase is the lucky fish. He's now just three laps down. Clint Boyer's back on the track after going to the garage, but he's many laps down. We have an update from Kirk. Well, guys, Chase Elliott has told Alan Gustafson that he has a vibration in the left front and in the right front, the whole front. Eddie DeHaan, the spotter, doesn't see anything. Well, I, I think it's from that crash. He took a big shot to Kyle Busch early. So we get ready. Elliot, Hamlin, green flag, Elliot spins the tires, he's going to fall back. See, I think that vibration, that's going to hurt him. Elliot falls all the way back to sixth, Hamlin with the advantage, followed by Earnhardt Jr., Rockwell, and Jimmy Johnson out of nowhere up to fourth, Alamarola into the top five. Two laps to go. Hamlin leading, Earnhardt Jr. is on his tail, but Hamlin's starting to pull away. Hamlin doesn't get caught behind any lap traffic, I think he's good, he's got a solid three car lengths now on Dale. That's one of the biggest leads we've seen all day. Through three and four. The white flag is about to come out. One more time for Denny Hamlin. Can he get the first win for Toyota this season? Coming through. 
One and two, down the back stretch for Denny. Denny Hamlin makes some room on the mantle for your sixth grandfather clock. Once again, we say it again, Denny Hamlin wins at Martinsville. Earnhardt Jr. comes home second, followed by Jimmy Johnson in third. Nice job by Denny today. Chase Elliott came up oh so close as Hamlin burns it down here in Martinsville as the STP 500 winner. Then it's Earnhardt Jr., Johnson, Elliott, Rockwell, the top five, Kane, Alamarola, Kenseth, Stenhouse, and Logano. I see all four Hendrick cars in the top six. Elliott couldn't get the win, but a nice day for all four of them. Then you see Kurt Busch, Truex, Newman, Larson, DiBenedetto, great run for him, getting some positional points. Then Bain, Suarez, Blaney, Kislowski, and Patrick, the top 20. Those were all that were on the lead lap. Timothy South, a lap down in 21st, followed by Reagan, Almendinger, who was in a crash. Bad days for McMurray and Menard. Busher, Castle, Ty Dillon, Eric Jones, Jeffrey Earnhardt, the top 30. Then Kennington, Mears, Joey Gase, Greg Alden, Clint Boyer, Kyle Busch, McDowell, Austin Dillon, and Kevin Harvick. So now shifting to the point standings. Denny Hamlin, Jimmy Johnson, Brad Keselowski all locked into the chase. Joey Logano, 32 points to the good. Truex plus 26. You see Landon Castle still hanging in there after a great run in the 500. He's got that 16th spot. Guys like Harvick and Kenseth on the outside looking in. Denny Hamlin celebrates in victory lane. Our next race will be the Tostitos Tiburon 500. We hope you enjoyed this presentation of NASCAR on WUB Network. For Trip McGinnis, Kirk Landry, and Ed Kalegi, I'm Eddie Kalegi saying goodbye till next time.